Okay, so we'll talk about uh, another block cipher, which is called, uh, which is the the advanced encryption standard or AES. So, uh, can you please go to the slide? So, so far all the cryptographic algorithm we have looked uh, so far has some problem like uh, we have seen the classical crypto system like SIP cipher, Caesar cipher, those are earlier cipher. So, those are broken under the uh, if we have modern computer speed. So, those are not secured. Even we have looked at we have looked at the DES which is a which is also broken by even by the uh, uh, generic attack exhaustive search or time memory data attack. This is by if, uh, electronics founder foundation they made a hardware which can uh, crack the DES in less than 3 days and with the cost of this. So, this is an exhaustive search attack and also DES can on DES we can one can mount the non generic attack like differential cryptanalysis, linear cryptanalysis, some variant of differential attack those attacks are uh, there for DES. Uh, so, DES is not secure. So, uh, and so we need to have a alternate for the standard. So, we tried with the triple DES people tried with the triple DES. But triple DES is basically made from the DES itself, which is basically uh, three times DES, three uh, uh, two times encryption, one time decryption, and for decryption triple DES, uh, two time uh, dec uh, decryption, one time encryption. So each DES is a sixteen round. So total round in the triple DES is forty eight round, which is huge. So which will make our uh, algorithm very slow. So then we uh, and also DES is uh, we have uh, we have seen it is a problem with the uh, 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 block size it is a 64 bit block and so so the now we need a brand new uh, encryption algorithm we need a block cipher new block cipher which is supposed to be secure under the all existing attack so what NIST did so instead of developing a new cipher by themselves what they did they announce a competition worldwide competition and in that competition anybody can participate. So, so that was in 1997. So, they announce a worldwide competition and they welcome all the cryptographer worldwide to submit their uh, block cipher design. So, those who are working on the block cipher or in crypto system. So, they just jump into that uh, competition and they design and so this is the first uh, and this they, they fix some requirement uh, this cipher this uh, this submitted cipher should be well documented unlike the DES because DES we have uh, we do not know where from this S boxes are coming they have just given the table it is a 4 by 16 table, but there is no really uh, information how these datas are coming. So, they want the NIST want a full full documentation for the new design of block cipher and so in the first round they got many submissions and from that after first round they selected 15 algorithm were accepted that means, 50 algorithm uh, other algorithm was having some problem. So, they uh, uh, even this was public. So, anybody can see the algorithm and anybody can comment on this anybody can attack on this. So, that way it is open competition. So, that is the uh, 15 cipher was selected after first round. Then after further investigation after further attack in the second year at the second round there was 5 cipher which was uh, selected and those names are basically Mars, RC4, Rindel, Serpent and Two-Face. So, these are the cipher which was uh, selected after the uh, second round of this competition. Okay. So, again in the final round among this cipher among this 5 cipher finally, the Rindel was selected the name of the block cipher is Rindel 
and this was selected because other type of maybe people got some uh, attacks on this, some faults, maybe not well documented. So finally, this Rindel competed. I mean, Rindel is the the AES, the Advanced Encryption Standard. Okay, so and this Rindel name came from the name of two cryptographer who designed this cipher. This is the uh, two Belgium cryptographer, John Damian and the Vincent Richman. So uh, the based on their name, it is the name of the cipher is basically Rindel. So, maybe this, uh, uh, this this is coming from say rich man 1 person and uh, domain sorry D A E M E N. So, based on their name uh, Vincent Richman and uh, John Romian. So, based on their name, they propose this name Rindel. Okay. So, Rindel is a uh, the AES which was uh, make standardized in 2001 by NIST. So, now still now this is the AES, this is the standard for block cipher. Okay. So, basically it is a block cipher. So, it is a uh, it is a symmetric key uh, primitives. So, but it is quite different than the DES, the earlier block cipher DES. So, uh, how how it is different from DES? DES was having key size 56 bit effective key size. Now, here we have uh, we have three variant of the uh, Rindel. One is okay. So, Rindel has three version. So, this is basically a block cipher, this is Rindel or the AES. So, block size is 128 bit. So, this is a 128 bit, so n is 128 bit block cipher. Block cipher. So, that means plain text and ciphertext size is 128 bit. This is ciphertext and this one is plain text. Okay. Now, the key size there are three variant of this one is 128 bit key, uh, another variant is 192, another variant is 256. Now, depending on the key size we have the number of rounds for 128 bit key we have uh, r is the number of round is r is equal to 10 rounds. So, this is one version another version is if it is 120 192 then r is 12 round and if it is uh, if it is 1 if it is 256 then r is 14 round. So, depending on the size of the key we have the different different round. So, these are called depending on the size of the key these are called AES, uh, AES 128, AES uh, 192, AES 256, but in each of these cases the n is fixed it is a, a plain text and cipher text size is basically 128 that is fixed but only thing we have three variant depending on the the size of the key and the number of round if the size of the key is 128 then the round is this this version is called aes 128 and if the size of the key is 192 then the number of round is 12 and this version of aes is called aes 192 and this version of AES is called AES 256. Okay. So, among these, this is the most popular one because this has less number of rounds. So, it will be more efficient in the terms of competition. So, it will be little faster than others because others has more round and the key size also less. 
So, if we can achieve the same so same level of security by using uh, less key size, the less number of round, then obviously that will be most popular. So, can you go to the slide, please? So, the number of so this is the thing. So, uh, it depends on the this uh, number of AES parameter depends on the key length. For example, the key key size used is 128 bit. Then the number of round is 10, which we have already discussed. And if the uh, number of round is 12, then the key size must to, must be 192. And if the number of round is uh, uh, 14, then the this. So among this, most common key size is we take 128 bit. Okay. So Rindel basically was designed uh, to have the following characteristics. So it must register from the all known attack, like generic attack uh, like uh, uh, linear attack, differential attack, all version of the differential attack uh, like boomerang attack. So, all these attacks. So, it should uh, register from the all known attack and it should be fast. So, computationally it should be fast speed, speed and uh, speed should be fast and we should widely use and the design should be simple. So, that that will make the cipher fast. Okay. So, this following this characteristics is it became the AES. Okay. This is a high level description of a typical R round AES. So, basically what we have we have a plain text x and plain text is 128 bit. So, we will just uh, store this plain text in a state. We will come to that how we can make the state and then we have few operations. We have basically four operations. One is add round key. It is basically XORing we, we, we take the input as a plain text and it is basically taking the round key and it is XORing with the round key B twice XORing that is the add round key very simple operation. And the other three operations are sub byte operation this is the S box operation. So, we take a byte. So, this state each state is a byte. So, we take a byte and then we we apply the S box and then we uh, we get the output. So, that S box is uh, taking a 8 bit input and giving us a 8 bit output. Okay. So, the operation basically first one is mix uh, add round key So, this is basically adding the round key. So, B to is XORing the round key with the with the input first input is the plain text, but later on uh, intermediate value then the uh, sub byte operation this is basically S box. So, we have a 8 by 8 S box we have 8 bit input 8 bit output and this is taking 8 bit means 1 byte. So, this is byte wise operation. So, we take a uh, 8 bit and it will replace by a 8 bit. So, this is the sub byte operation we will come to that a s sub byte operation and then the shift row. shift row we are just basically shifting the row we, we, we store the input in a matrix in a R 4 by 4 state which is called state I will come to that how what is the state shift row and then mix column. Okay. So, these are the basic so we will also discuss what is the mix column. So, these are the basic operation we will use for designing the uh, AES. So, these are the basic operation operations used in AES okay. and we will study each of this operation in details. Okay. So, can you go to the slide please? Yeah. So, this is the uh, uh, this is a typical R round 
uh, AES. So, first we take the plain text and we store it into a 4 by 4 uh, matrix and each entry is a byte. And then we perform the add round key operation that is the first operation we will do. And then we will perform this uh, sub byte operation, shift row operation, mix column operation and again add round key operation. So, this will continue for r minus 1 round and then after that for the last round. So, it is r th, r th round. So, r many round function are there. So, in the last round what we do? We just uh, uh, apply the sub byte operation, shift row operation, add round key operation. So, in the last round the mix column operation is missing. So, basically this is the structure of AES. So, we have the plain text x. So, this we just first we add a round key, add round key, add round key. So, for this we need a round key k 1 okay. and then we then we have r minus 1 round of this. Uh, uh, so, shift row then sorry this is sub byte first one is sub byte then the shift row then mix column and then again add round key so for this add round key we need a round key for next time it is k2 ok. So, this will repeat. So, this this is sort of one round function of AES this will repeat r minus 1 times. So, again this will be uh, this will be performed sub byte shift row mix column add round key like this. Then after that for the last round what we do we just apply sub byte then shift row and then uh, mix column uh, sorry mix column is not there in the last round. So, that is the different. So, add round key. So, for, for last round we need to have if it is r r round a s yes, then we need to have k r plus 1 because we have used one round key in the first sort. Okay. So, this is the ciphertext y and this is the plain text. So, both are 128 bit. Okay. So, this is a typical r round AES. So, we have a 128 bit plain text and finally, we are getting a 128 bit. So, this is the last round, this is the last round F r and the first round is basically this is the extra operation we are doing in the first round, but remaining after that we are just doing this is one round operation. We are doing this for r minus 1 round and then finally, we are going to the uh, last round. Okay. So, we are in we are now, we want to discuss all these details like what are this operation add round key shift row mix column like this. So, so let us just uh, quickly talk about we are this is the general structure, but we are looking at AES 128 bit and uh, not AES 120 AES 128. So, this version of AES we are looking for. So, this is basically a 128 bit block cipher. So, that means plain text and cipher text size is 128 bit and it has key size also 128 bit and it has round is r is 10 round. So, it is basically a 
10 round block cipher. So, what we are doing? This is our x and we are first applying the add round key with the k 1. Okay. So, then we are having this uh, sub byte, then uh, mixed uh, sub byte, then shift row, mix column and finally, we have again a add round key. So, this is typically a one round AES, this four operation. So, this we need a K 2. Okay. So, this is sort of first round F 1, then again this we, we pass it to sub byte operation, then again shift row. Okay. So, then again mix column, then again a add round key. So, add round key. So, here we need a k 2 like this. So, this will continue, this will continue how many times? So, uh, this will continue 9 times. Okay. Again we will do the same thing over here. So, like this, so for this we need to have a k 3 like this. So, we will continue this 9 times and for ninth we have a k 10. So, same same thing we will continue. So, in the last round what we do? We have the mix column operation is missing. We are not good doing the mix column in the last round. So, in the last round we are just doing sub byte then shift row and then just add round key, add round key and here we need to have a round key which is k 11. So, this is the cipher text wise. So, this is a typical uh, AES 128 bit block cipher. So, this is the plain text which is 128 bit and this is the cipher text. Okay. So, now we will discuss what are this, uh, what are this operation basically and what are how we can uh, have the this key serialing algorithm to get the round keys. Okay, so, basically, so now we will talk about AES is a byte wise operation. So, it is taking input in a state, it is state wise operation. So, state it is a 4 by 4 matrix, we can just denote by S 0 0, S 0 1, S 0 2, S 0 3. So, this is the first row S 1 0, S 1 1, S 1 2, S 1 3. S 2 0, S 2 1, S 2 2, S 2 3, S 3 0, S 3 1, S 3 2, S 3 3. So, this is basically a 4 by 4 matrix and each of these is a 8 bit. So, it is a byte. So, each of this entry is a 8 bit. So, how we can take the input uh, plain text in a state. So, our plain text is basically 128 bit, this is x, this is 128 bit. So, what we do? We divide into bytes. So, if we divide into bytes basically we have 16 bytes. So, x 1, x 2, sorry x 1, x 2, x 3, x 16. So, each x i is a byte or 8 bit. Okay. So, now what we do? We store this here. So, we take this like this. So, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4. 
So, basically the first first entry is x 1 then column wise we are storing then x 5, x 6, x 7, x 8 then x 9, x 10, x 11, x 12 then x 13, x 14, x 15, x 16. Okay. So, this way we will form the state the matrix. So, we are just basically breaking the plain text into bytes and each byte is a uh, element of this uh, entry of this matrix. So, this is a 4 by 4 matrix this is called state and A s is a this A s operation the basic operation are state wise operation. Okay. So, now uh, for the add round key So, add round key what we are doing? We have a uh, state basically, but this is again a uh, 128 bit input and suppose our key round key is also 128 bit, this is the round key, say k th round key, i th round key. So, add round key is basically b twice x varying. So, this is a 1 0 1 like this and this round key is, is say 0 1 1 like this. So, we are just doing b twice x varying this x or with this 1 this x or with this is 1 this x or with this is 0. So, no carry just a b twice x varying. So, this is basically add round key operation. Okay, very simple operation we are just x varying the we are adding the round key x x varying the round key with the with the state. Okay. So, now we will talk about this uh, sub byte operation. So, in a sub byte operation, uh, yeah, can you go to the slide please? Okay. So, this is the state in the sub byte operation what, I, what, what it is taking? It is taking each byte, it, each entry is a uh, byte. So, it is taking input 8 bit and it is there is a table which is the S, S box table for A S and it is doing the uh, table lookup and it is giving us the output. So, we have a S box which is a 8 bit input and can give us a 8 bit output. So, this is the sub byte operation for A s. So, basically we have a s box. So, this is the A s s box. Okay. So, this 8 bit, so we can take this x, this is y and x y are hexadecimal bit. So, this this is given in the this can be given in the table. Can you go to a slide please? Okay. So, this is the table for A s s box. So, this this is the x, x is an hexadecimal form and this is the y. So, depending on the value x and y, we will go to that particular entry and we will get the uh, we will get the output of the s box. So, suppose a s is say uh, uh, x value is, is 8 and y value is 7. So, we will go to the this. So, output is C 4, C is also in hexadecimal form. So, we have to convert into 4 bit and 4 is also in hex form we have to convert into 4 bit. So, this 2 will give us a 8 bit number. So, we have a 8 bit input and 8 bit output. So, this is the this is the way we will just look at the table. So, we take a state which take a entry of the state that is a byte. So, this will do the table lookup and we will convert that into phi of s. So, so s 0 0, s 0 1, s 0 2, s 0 3 sorry, s 1 2, s 1 3, s 2 0, s 2 1, s 2 2, s 2 3, s 3 0, s 3 1, s uh, 3 2, s 3 3. So, this under sub byte operation we take each of this and we replace by its s box. So, pi s of s 0 0, pi s of 
S 0 1 like this. So, in general for i j th element this is pi s of s i j. So, like this. So, we take a byte and we apply the s box we, uh, we got the again a 8 bit. So, that is the sub byte operation, but this a s sub byte is not just a table. So, there is some algebraic uh, structure for this a s sub byte operation. We will talk about that in the next class this algebraic structure how we can get the if we get a uh, if we give a 8 bit input how to get the uh, 8 bit output. So, that is basically coming from the we will we have to do some uh, field operation there. So, we will talk about that. Now, let us talk about the shift row operation. So, in the shift row a s shift row uh, yeah. So, this is the shift row operation. So, what we are doing? So, shift row operation for AES. Okay, so, this is the state. Now, we are shifting the rows. So, this is first row, first row will be uh, uh, remain unchanged, and second row. The we are shifting one time circular shift. So, this is going there, this is going there, this is going here, this, this is coming here. Third row we are shifting twice, uh, this third row, uh, fourth row we are shifting thrice. So, this is the way we are doing. Uh, so, this first row remain unchanged, second row we are shifting one position, and uh, so this next row we are shifting two position circular shift and this row we are shifting three positions. So, that is the way we are shifting. So, this is the shift row operation basically we are shifting the position of the byte. Okay. So, now we will uh, talk about mix column operation. So, mix column operation will uh, will have the. Uh, so, it is taking the column wise. So, S 0 0 S 0 1 S 0 2, S 0 3, S 1 0, S 1 1, S 1 2, S 1 3, S 2 0, S 2 1, S 3 0, S 3 2, S 3 3. So, in the mixed column operation, it is a column wise operation. So, it is taking each of this column and it is replacing by a new column. So, this may be S 0 0 dot plus S 0 0. So, S 2 0 S 3 0 again it is taking a column and it is converting into a new column like this S 2 1. So, like this again it is taking a new column this column and it is converting into a new column S 2 0 S so, this is the 2th column 3 2 and then finally, it is taking the last column it is replacing by a new column. <coughs> so, it is a column wise operation, but this operation involves some field operation we will talk about this in the. So, S sorry S 3 3. So, how this column is coming the new column we will talk about in the next class. So, that is basically field operation we are doing and then in the next class we will also discuss the this uh, key scheduling algorithm how we can get the round keys we need 15 uh, we need 11 round keys k 1 k 2 k 11 and each round keys is 128 bit. So, how we can get this round keys from the given cigarette key which is 128 bit those those we will discuss in the next class thank you.